Hello everyone, I am Matias, he's Javier, and we are going to introduce you to migrate big site using CLI script and JVG Pro. What we will to do in this session is this is the table of context where the first step is to explain what JVG Pro uh, does and the next step is to s to look the boot version that we have and the next step the installation the configuration and then the end of this session we will do a live migration yeah we like risk and we are going to do it <laughs> <laughs> huh ah, well <laughs> <laughs> if you like yeah we can do that what what JWGrep Pro does. So what JWGrep Pro does is just to migrate your site from your load site 1.5 to 2.5, 3.0, and 3.1. This extension migrate users, migrate modelers, migrate content, contact, categories. All the core content of Joomla is is to migrate. So is the yeah, right now um, the idea of the component it's uh, to help you migrating Joomla from 1.52 or 2.5 or 3.0 or 3.1. But the future uh, of this component is to be um, a software that allows you to move data, not only migrating. But uh, Matthias goes beyond, and and he thinks we can create something that helps us to move data. So for example, moving a site from 3.1 to another server uh, in the same 3.1. So that's the future. Who knows? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's we something that we must to to do in the next version. So okay. Um, if you want to install, uh, if you want to migrate not only a Joomla site but a site with uh, Kunena or other extensions, there are plugins that you can put in the software and it, it will do the process. So, no, it's not only going to migrate Joomla but also all that third party extensions that you have. And you can get, uh, well, these third party extensions are. Uh, you can download it from that component. That area it's a pro version of the component. The component right now is free, but if you if you need uh, special uh, yeah, third party extension support, uh, you you have a a price for for that. Yeah, I see. Okay, that's about all that for all right for you. We have in this extension, but. Uh, way to migrate your site. We have the default version, uh, a method that is the database method that gets the, dat the, the data from the database, and the RESTful version that they get the data using web service. So we will to explain a, a little more how it's working now. We will say. Uh, Will we we uh, start with the database uh, method? So what we are doing is to get uh, the data from the the database, and necesito que me ayudes a yeah. Well, what we have let let me show you the idea behind uh, this. Uh, we have this Joomla 1.5 site in a, and we uh, install uh, the system there and we have your new site. So what we do with the database is querying a small uh, amount of data and moving it to, to the new site. We do that because you, you cannot migrate uh, 40,000 users at, at the same time. You need to split it in small chunks. So that's the idea uh, in the database me method. We make, uh, uh, we, we query for 
100 users, we move 100 users, and then we go to the next step, to the next uh, 100 users, and we move it. So that's the idea. Yeah. Ole? No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. So, we have uh, the good things and bad things in this is way to migrate our data. So, the the good thing is the it's more fa it's faster to get the data from the database. And the bad things about this is for users that that are not related with database or with, with or with servers or whatever so should be difficult for 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 them to 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 do a configuration of this extension yeah exactly so the database it's the fastest method but still you need all the database credentials uh, to put it in the system there are users that they don't have the database uh, credentials, so they can they have just the administrator details for uh, the Joomla side. So this method requires that you have this, but still is the fastest method. So now we will to explain the RESTful method. The RESTful method uh, gets only one row prepared requests. So is a little different for database because you get only one row to the to, to the to the uh, to the web service mm -hmm. with web service and get only one row so and then do the next step and get the the, the next row and um, to, con to, to continue as you see here, we cannot request for 100 users. So we are going to uh, do uh, to migrate one article, one user, <coughs> then we come back and we ask again for that item. So that's slower than the database migration where we can have uh, migrations in chunks. Uh, in but still, it's really um, modern techniques where we are using web services that it's nice to develop things like that yeah the good thing a bad thing about this method is it's simple to configure because we only need the the uh, the administration uh, URL, no? uh? the url the url and the administration uh, user user nothing more the bad thing about this method it is more slower, so you must have <laughs> a little patience. And and we have s s s s s some server have some restriction about uh, um, web service because I don't know why because <laughs> there are lots of configuration of lots of servers, so. Some servers have has some restriction about that, so it's it's more difficult if you use some server like uh, un, un, un servidor famoso Hostgator, Hostgator, <laughs> whatever. What? Yes, please. So we will start w with the installation of this script the first step is to install one clean Joomla 2.5 3.0 or 2.1 uh, and re remember that must to be empty because we we will get the data from the old site so must be empty. So you will do some magic and you install your Joomla. I think I don't need to explain how to install Joomla. No. <laughs> install Joomla Pro. So 
we have our roots yeah um well uh, how many people in this room has used uh, jupgrade in the web uh, does any of you have seen how okay okay good so we are what we are showing uh, to you here is the the cli the client the terminal client to do the same so uh, for doing that it's not like a web interface uh, but still it's really easy to to install um, what we are doing here is downloading but since Matthias is a skill, de a skill developer he just fork it from github his own repository so he bring all the code uh, to his server but you can still download uh, the jupgrade pro client and unzip it in in the root of your of uh, your project yeah. and uh, you need to add uh, you well uh, no, go ahead it's, it's fine yeah only that so the configuration is first we need to set the path of the new site that we we, we installed before so in the in this file that is bootstrap.php you can find one line that you should uh, de de define the the new server, the new is is installation sorry exactly so we have the 1.5 file uh, in Joomla installation we have the 3.1 fresh uh, installation without data and we have this jupgrade client so we need to say to the client where that 3.1 site is that's what we are doing here exactly so the configuration of Google Pro is, 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 is easily because we have only one file to to edit so in the file we have the method so we, we can choose uh, the, the database of RESTful method and set it the limit of each step so here we can we can see that this variable is we can set the the limit of each strip. Yeah, remember that that is the amount of user articles or whatever that we are migrating on every step. Uh, we don't need to fill that if we use the restful method because the restful method goes one by one, and the database is the one that can send uh, chunks of that <coughs> so you should to add to this is file uh, the the database settings from for the the new site and if we choose the database method for the old site too so we can see here that we have the type of the database, the host name, the user, the password, and the DB name, and the prefix for the new site that we installed before. And if you choose the um, database method, you must to fill the same things, but for your old site that you should like to migrate. Did you replace every data model? No, well, yeah, the, the, the 1.5 information is not needed in case you choose the RESTful migration mm -hmm. method, because we are not uh, using the queries to the database. So if we, if, if we choose the RESTful method, so we need to, to add to this in, uh, uh, file, the co configuration file, the host name. The, this is not the host name, it really is the URL of the old site that we chose to, to install one 
the comment the plugin. Yeah. And the username and the password and the fit IP that we should to add into the script installed into the your old site. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, but uh, it, it's really simple. It's we have the 1.5 site and the 3.1 site. What we do is we install, uh, we use the CLI script in the middle, but still, if we use RESTful, we need to install a plugin in the Joomla 1.5 site. This plugin is uh, the one that I need to configure it and add a secret word that is going to encrypt all communications between the both sides because we don't want to show passwords or whatever. We, we are going to hide all this information during this interaction. That's the rest key that you see there. Yeah. If you like to skip one step, for example, if we like to, to migrate only content, we should to add one to to all the things left content or if we like to only to skip banners we we must to add one for this one and nothing more yeah yeah yep it's just a destination database that can be entered so to do that uh, what we do is there are scripts for that that are written for android that can populate question que si si has migrado los artículos como has dicho que la base de datos tiene que estar limpia puedes luego migrar eh, otra vez usando mm. el script eh, no. con, con otro no. con you can. en vez de banners pues migrar luego categorías o migrar ah ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. if but if you migrate uh, uh, I don't know the users before and you like to migrate uh, this one, you should to skip the user. But the, the, the base one will work. But it's very important that the tables are clean because we are modifying the database. So I if you have data in those databases, for security, Matthias uh, is not going to write anything there. Just it's going to stop the process just in case it's deleting users that you already have there. So we will do a live migration. I hope uh, everything goes in all right. <laughs> we have this site uh, that is empty, but it's not empty right now because I tested it. Come over. But I will empty it. Right now. Okay. So we have one side that is completely empty. Only when one user that is installed by default with the installation of Joomla. And this is completely empty. So in your old site that I, I I have this one with this one. You have the, the default content. Of, 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 of the Joomla installation, you have the default content. You have the default sections and categories and everything that the installation of 1.5 installed by default and we sh should install here the plugin for RESTful 
Do you remember that plugin that we have a secret word that we put beer uh, as a secret word? So this is what Martin is going to do now. He's going to install that plugin that is going to help us to send all the information via RESTful. Sorry, I don't know why is the plugin, but I think it's, it's installed. So this is the plugin that uh, you show installing your old site and you must have set the secret key for the security. <laughs> so we put in the security key, I don't know, beer, beer. Beer, okay. beer is good. But you should put longer secret <laughs> keys. <laughs> It's more whiskey. better. <laughs> Maybe whiskey is better. <laughs> yeah. better. That's fine. And uh, okay. Into your installation of JGrid, you have the configuration distribute file and the bootstrap and the script only only that yeah that's basically that folder where all the component is uh that configuration file that we are going to uh fill right now and the bootstrap file so that's all what when you download and you unzip it this is what you are going to find so we have the bootstrap you must to edit it to set the default path for new new site that we installed before. So here is our example that <laughs> set the new Joomla 3.1 uh, uh, site and nothing more in this file we yeah you don't need to do anything else in bootstrap file we just make sure that the cl client knows where the new joomla site is that's all and now we copy our configuration file to configuration p point php yeah it's like renaming you know by the ball we usually we usually put the dot disk at the end of these files that we want to uh, people to to rename it and change the configuration we must to edit it i don't have colors i don't know why <laughs> but in this file we should to change this to restful all the, all the functions are documented so yeah you can see that there and we skip some step to only to to go be an, exa an example we so skip we banners yeah we are going to migrate everything except from banners except we will banner. skip. Okay. And we should do set the, the, uh, here the the Joomla database uh, for the Joomla. Yeah, the Joomla database for the new site. Now so we are going to set the Joomla yeah the details of the, the new site. one. The password is the same. one and I don't remember the prefix the prefix yeah como como sale aquí no del del de la terminal aquí <laughs> eh que venga a ser no que venga a ser no this is the the, the the tables of the new site so we look the prefix here and we must put here the
the correct prefix. And then we now, now we reach the point where we have uh, to fill uh, data if in this case if we want to migrate using the database method or these values if we want to do a restful migration. So we're going to our all sites. We copy the URL of your all sites and put this into the host name. It, uh, that is not the name. I think I should to change it. Rest URL <laughs> is more ex expressive. And the you then we must to set the the username and the password name of your your old site of your Joomla user in the in the 1.5 site yeah remember that this user should have the necessary to come on the administrator ad right. permission yeah. yeah we we save it and close your fingers <laughs> it's not working oh <laughs> i don't know why I we will try the method with is database. Did did you put rest? Yeah, I I put rest. Okay. No, no. But is it strange? We will to try to do a, a a database migration. But let me a uh, a little moment to think about this. <laughs> Still, you know, th this is some geeky uh, way to migrate. You have the easy way to migrate using the web interface. Ah, OK. I see what is happening. This is not the, the, the URL. This is the correct URL. Okay, now it's working. Oh. Now you can see that each step is one request via RESTful. So it's getting all the data from the old site and put it into the new site. So when it is finished, we can see the new site and if everything is okay, the data should be there. Well, uh, at least I, le le let me let me. I have a good argument. You, you can stay hours there. You know, it's so beautiful. You beep beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> I used to migrate sites just for fun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like a bit. No. Uh, in your browser, you have uh, timeouts and that stuff. Um, if you migrate a bigger site, that I will show you one. Mi migration with lot of, of data now uh, it is more easy because you don't have any timeouts or, or, well or that stuff so should migrate faster and so it's more feeling than, than doing it doing it from the browser I yeah here from CLA yeah. see si, of course of course uh, maybe opens the door to for you to move. I don't know, 101.5 sites. You can do some scripts to no, or maybe I don't know. So here we, we have our new site that show a pair all the content data that from the the old, the old sites. 
I mean, I don't mean you. Uh, user no because we have only one user in a, in our all site but all the data is is here yeah. so now we are going to migrate a big site using database because it's more faster and we will show how we, it works with big amount of data up here what I am doing now is to clean it the new si new site so we have a clean site again to do a new migration so we must to install again um, edit again a configuration file and change the method to database and if we choose database we must to do to fill the old database configuration that I think is already filled so cross fingers again cross fingers <laughs> again <laughs> yeah and run I will show you that <laughs> I will show you that is empty again? Is empty? Yeah. Is oh. That no content, no categories, no menus, no users. So we must to run it. Yeah, you can see the difference. You can see the difference yeah. of, of, of the of of the speed. So we are migration we migrating uh, dot every dot, ah, uh, 4835 uh, users. users and 100 user each dot no Matthias yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 100 so I in the previous uh, screen every dot was just one re uh, restful request but this time, since we set the 100 as a parameter, we are m every dot that you see here is 100 uh, users migrating. So it's much faster. It's migrating the content now. So we have 300 of content. And the menu, welding, blah blah blah, uh, and all, all all side is migrating now. If you look at the side now, we have all the content, and all the new users too. So it took. Uh, what maybe 10 seconds to migrate almost 5,000 users so it's and categories too this is my site so the, the categories are my <laughs> so that's it uh, and if anything have any question mm, um, what Kuneno are migrating the if you like, we we ha, we like we we can do um, migration w with Kunena. So you, oh. eh? uh, I have not the plugin now for Kikechu, but it's the same, the same thing. Yeah, internet is not fast, so we didn't have the time. To yeah, I need the to, to download the the plugin and that stuff.
So we, we are doing now is to clean it the site again, to migrate again. So if we like to migrate uh, three part extension, it's clean now. It's clean again. If we like to migrate to part extension, we must to install one plugin into the new site now for Kunena migration. So every new extension has its uh, J upgrade plugin. So we have the plugin for Kunena, the plugin for K2, the plugin for. So you need to install all these plugins right before doing the migration in the new site. This plugin is installed. We must to publish it. To publish it. Mm -hmm. So in the, the, this type, you can choose JWeb Pro and choose enable it. And then, and you are not installing Kunena. That's important. That's important. You are just installing the plugin. Uh, J Upgrade will take care of installing Kunena, filling all the tables, and migrate all the data. What it is doing is migrate all the side again, but at the end should install and migrate all the, the Kubernetes tables to the new site. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, you is creating the tables, migrating the data, but you still don't have Kunena. It's one and uh, once you have mi do done the migration is when you install Kunena. So Kunena is going to absorb all this information that is already there in the database. Yes, but uh, actually what the plugin does is to map the, um, the, the database structure of the, of the extension. The tables. S the tables, yeah. So, so um, you know, it's, it's not common that the extensions change the schema yeah. often. Oops. Sorry. What is... I should to to remove the Kunena <laughs> fields. Mm. So that that's a perfect case of this problem. We we already had Kunena installed, isn't it? It's it's a change, but I, I will to remove all this stuff. These are those are very informative for you because you you see that how to to do a migration again if you migration file yeah he's doing it in purpose no it's not a problem <laughs> we're having in a live presentation so uh, what i need to do here is to clean the site again. And uh, I need to go install the plugin again into the new site because when I clean the, the, the site, I remove the Kunena plugin. So extensions. Insert Kunena.
Enable it. And then what I will to do is to skip the users. For example, for you, because Thor not need users anymore. Uh, we are near for time. Skip users and skip content. And content, content. So this show work. If it is not work, sorry. <laughs> but it should work. Yeah, okay, it's working, it's working now. So you probably can see it from the end of the room, but now it's migrating to another messages table. <coughs> and you can see the faster of, of it's m more faster than the browser that, that you you are asking. Is 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 very more faster. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's, it is valuable, of, of, of course, of course. But I recommend you to, uh, to, to do your migrate, to, to, to migrate to or in your local host always, because the servers has problems or restrictions and security issues. So now it's migrating the Kunena message page table. Yeah, yeah, I recommend you always to have the latest version of all the software because I suppose that, that, that the software is better than the older. And now it's, mi it's migrating the, u the Kunena user and it's done. So, some questions? Yeah, the next step now will be to install Kunena in your 3.1 yeah. site. And should work everything with your data, all data. So in three words, uh, I, I don't know if we have Kunena here. I don't know, but we can try. We had to switch computer, at, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it, yeah, it from here, this computer, so. Because my computer is very old. <laughs> ah, it's in the field there. Yeah. yeah. Ah. So this is true. Pero no lo oh. he probado nunca. Ah. We haven't tested, so let's do it again, no? <laughs> Maybe explode. <laughs> 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 but the installation of Kunena are very pretty. You have the category here. Yeah, some components have uh, uh, issues, no? During the installation? No, no. Ah, 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 yeah, you know. So w we have all data here. I think uh, I need to fix some things related with groups and Wikunena because there are some issues to fix, but I will to fix in this week or the next. But this is an example for how to migrate Okunena site or cat or Kados or, or whatever. We have 20 different extensions in our site. Yeah, it's not like just copying 
data from one database and moving to the other. It has some other challenge, like for example, creating categories in Joomla 3.1 need, uh, you, you also have to do all the stuff of the ACL. So there, there's, there's some things inside. And also Kunena probably has things in there. It's not like creating one category in one table. Questions? No? How many of you have migrated sites I'm here? Okay. Sorry, in, yeah. in the Rust version, yeah. uh, what format are you using to change the database? JSON? JSON? Uh, cool. yeah. It's JSON. Ah, JSON, yeah. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. you using your own formatting? Yeah. Great. Yeah, but it's only the bare row, no, not. Um, um, in using HAL with how you do in your in your code, it's only one JSON row for all the. Oh, it's only that. Right. I like to implement HAL, but take time. Okay. Yeah. So, other questions? Okay, that's Thank it. Thank you. Thank you very much.